Welcome everyone, this is Foundation. I have actually already made a video on this and I watched through it and I wasn't satisfied with how it turned out. So this is me starting a brand new game once again. If you already saw my first, my first episode, then you'll know what I'm talking about. The, the video quality wasn't quite as good and it just wasn't what I wanted it to be and so I'm gonna start it over and I have tested it out I know that this video quality is gonna be much better and so yeah so this is foundation it's a medieval city building game it's a really fun game I really enjoy it it's pretty relaxed and I'm excited to show it to you guys so we're just gonna go ahead and start a new game. I've, I've looked at all of these and I think the best one to start out with is probably this one. It seems to me like it's the world. So this picture doesn't really do the world all that much justice <laughs> personally. So I'll just take you guys to the world and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So we're going to go ahead and load it up. And I won't go over all of this. I'm hoping to explain the game to you guys a little bit better than this does. This doesn't do a bad job. Like You could read through all of this and understand a lot about the game. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you guys the world. So this is kind of that, that image that you get when you're looking at the main menu. I really don't recommend starting here. I like this spot right here. So first thing you need to do in the game is pick your first territory. And so we're just gonna pick that spot right there. I like to pause the game when nothing's going on or when I'm trying to figure out what to do. So you'll see me pause the game a lot. I just don't really like to waste waste the time. So that's that's personal preference. You really don't have to do that. But we're just gonna follow along with the quests. I highly recommend just going through the quests when starting the game. So quest number one is to build build a build a village center. So we go to the build section, which is this little hammer right here. And that's the only thing it gives you at this point. So we're just going to zoom in right in the center here. We're going to hit build. And there we go. There's all of our little villagers. We got eight of them. And they're, they're going to be our first villagers. We're, we're hopefully going to take good care of them. So now... Once we have built a village center, the next thing that we have to do is build a builder's workshop. And that will be that will be a quest that will show up probably pretty soon if I hit the play button. There it is. Build a builder's workshop. Once we do that, we'll actually unlock a whole bunch of buildings. And I'm going to go through and talk about each of those. Um, but for now, we're just going to build the workshop. If you want to rotate your building, you hold the control button and you move your mouse left to right and that's what it'll do. One important thing about this building is you want to pay attention to the green arrows on the ground. You see they're kind of pointing towards the building. Those are the entry points to this building. So that's the areas that the villagers are going to walk through to get inside of the building. You just want to make sure that those aren't obstructed by anything, that they can walk through freely without any issues. The game will occasionally have issues with that. Um, and hopefully we don't run into any of those problems, but if we ever do, I'll explain what's going on. Basically, you just want to make sure those green arrows are never going to be... Like, nothing's ever going to be in the way of them. So. We're going to go ahead and build that. And now we need to... Here, I'm just going to play it on times one. That way it'll give us whatever quests it's going to give us. 
we're going to need to assign a few builders. So I'll just assign two. Oh, <laughs> so it just gave us the quest to assign a new builder. Um, this is how you do it. You just click the building and this little menu will pop up and you can assign them with this this little menu right here. All right. New quest is to place a lumber camp. Lumber camp is, so these are all the new buildings that we just unlocked. There's a whole bunch of them. The lumber camp is right here and this produces wood. And so you want to put this in an area where there's lots of trees, especially when starting out. So I'm going to put it right in here. Just kind of right in the middle of all of it. So I think that's a good spot. We'll just go ahead and click build. And we'll let that play. So what's going to happen is one of the builders is going to go take care of that. So you see one of our builders is walking through the through the forest and they're gonna start working on that lumber camp. So there we go. That'll get taken care of. We'll go ahead and speed it up a little bit. You can go all the way up to times three speed. We'll just hold it at times two right now. There we go. So you can see our builder right here. She's currently working. And there we go. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take pause. Assign a new woodcutter. So we click on the lumber camp. And you can assign any of these people to be a woodcutter. I'm gonna assign three for now because we don't have any other jobs yet. And you can move your villagers around between jobs however you want, which is really nice. Because there are gonna be times when you need some resources more than others. Um, and wood is a resource that we're gonna be using quite a bit, especially at the beginning. So, now that we've done that, we're going to start... Oh, that's right. I always forget about this. So we need to paint an extraction zone. So when you go to this paint section, you'll have these three options right now. Really, this is the only one that's going to matter at the beginning. So you can go ahead and just paint that area. But I like to paint a large area because... This might be a little big. If you hold control and use the scroll on your mouse, that'll make your circle bigger. So I'm just going to paint all of this for now. Because we want them to have plenty to work with, especially if I'm not paying attention. So there we go. And then another important thing is that you need to also paint the extraction zone for these things too. I just recommend doing this right away. I'll just do that. Because when we go to place the other buildings for those, for the berries and for the stone, um, you're going to definitely need those to be marked as extraction zones. So we'll go ahead and continue, and the woodcutters are going to start working on that. Okay, so next thing is to produce berries. And you do that with a gathering hut. So I'm just gonna place the gathering hut just over here next to the berries. Really doesn't matter how it's laid out. Probably just gonna do something like this. Yeah, that's fine. I'm happy with that. So there we go. And also, while I'm at it, I'm going to place the stone cutter camp. And I'm going to put that over here next to the stones. So, there we go. And 
we're just gonna go ahead and continue. We should have, yeah, so we still have two builders. I'm actually gonna assign one more. You can, you can just hit the plus button if you have some unemployed villagers and they will just automatically assign a random villager to that. You can also, if you're picky about who you want to be on a particular job, you can go to this menu and you can click on any villager that you have. But if you don't care who it is, then you just you just click the little plus button. Um, the little plus button right here. Okay. And there we go, things are going well. We got people building stuff. This is gonna be done soon. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pause. And we're gonna assign, we're gonna assign the two unemployed villages that we have, and I'm also gonna move a builder over there because we don't need three builders right now. So there we go. Now those three villagers that I just selected, they're gonna go over there and they're gonna start gathering some berries. I also know that stone is going to be pretty important. Okay. So the stone cutters camp has just been finished. Um, for now, so there's no unemployed villagers, so I actually have to move villagers from another job right now. I think at this early point in the game it's important to balance the resources in a way that you don't have too much of one and not enough of the other. Right now we only have, we don't have any stone. So I think I'm going to assign one woodcutter and one of our builders. And you know what, I'm also going to assign a forager. So we'll, we'll start with that. We have three miners. We'll see how that goes for now. And we have a new quest. Those miners will start working on, on that stone cutters camp. The new quest is to build a granary. And I know I could be pronouncing that wrong. It might be granary. I'm not sure about that. But a granary or granary, whatever you want to call it, is a place to store food. I'm going to I'm going to keep it over here kind of out of the way. And then as we expand our village this way, we might do some food over here. And this will kind of be like a central point for food items. But we'll get to that point when we get there. So I'll go ahead and click build. And we'll change it to one time speed. I don't want to go too fast right now. Well, actually, you know what? Now I do want to go fast. So they're just going to be gathering stuff and building stuff. So no reason to go too fast. Okay. So at this point, it's kind of just waiting. This guy is building the granary right now. We got a decent amount of stone coming in. And yeah, things are going pretty smooth. Once we stock our resources, we'll probably get a new quest. Um, well, looks like it's still going to take a while before we stock our resources. We need the greenery to get built. So let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit more. So there's our builder. He's going to keep working on that. Might take a little while, but there's no reason to rush right now. You can just wait. This is a good opportunity for us to stock resources, let these numbers go up. He's probably going to go grab some stone here soon. He'll grab that stone and then he'll go take it over there. Waiting for a builder. There 
we go. He's assigned. He's bringing five stone, and then he'll probably finish finish it off here. And we'll go ahead and slow things down a little bit. As soon as he gets that done, I'm going to want to pause. Okay. And now we need to assign a transporter. So... We have three miners, two woodcutters, two foragers, and a builder. But we still don't have a lot of stone. So I think I'm going to assign one of the woodcutters because we have a lot of wood right now. And if we ever end up needing a lot, we can just move people around. It's, it's really not that big of a deal to move your people around. So... Somebody should probably go over there soon. I don't know who it's going to be, but they're going to move. Oh, and I need to... S I forgot about this. Yeah. So there we go. You need to assign berries to one of those slots right here. Alright, so let's go ahead and pause. The next mission or quest is to fill the needs of our newcomers. So here's kind of right here in this area, it tells us all the things that we need to do. So first thing we need to do is to build a well. This is a well right here. I think we're going to go ahead and put the well right here. Go ahead and build that. And then we're also going to need a market. We'll start with the well. And here we'll slow things down to two times speed. I think the market, maybe we'll keep that over here. There we go. Go ahead and build that. And yeah. We'll just go ahead and speed things up. Everything will get done eventually. So, right now it's just waiting for everything to get done. Yeah, things are going pretty smooth right now. Once this market is done, ahead and pause. We need to assign a market tender to run the market. I think we're just going to do one of the miners because we have a decent amount of stone right now. If we ever need more stone, like I said, we can just move people around. And we need to put berries in this slot. And we can actually change this in the future when we have more food options, but for now the only option is berries. So there we go. And yeah, once this well is done, I think this mission will have been completed. We're just waiting on a builder for this well. So yeah, right now it's just all waiting for everything to get completed. Well, mostly just the well. Once the well is completed, everything will be good. So we'll just go ahead and we'll just go ahead and wait for a little bit. Looks like he's getting pretty close to being done. There we go. So we have filled the needs of our newcomers. And this quest is to encourage immigration. Basically, that just means you have to wait until all your villagers are happy. All of them basically just need to get some water. I'll, I'll actually show you what I'm talking about. If we click on one of the villagers, this is the needs that this 
particular villager has. So you'll notice she'll probably walk over to the water here, collect some water, and now that need is filled. And so she's 100% happy because these two needs are filled. These two needs are not required yet just because we don't have the ability to do these things yet so the game doesn't make you worry about these things for a little bit. Once this gets to 100% that'll probably change. But yeah, so that's, that's kind of what's going on right now. It's good to pay attention to the needs of your villagers. And not just like your villagers as a whole, like you don't want to just look at this. And, and I guess, I mean you can play the game however you want, but I like to look at every individual villager and see what, what they need. What's Like if they're not 100% happy, I want to see what's wrong and how I can try to fix that. Okay, so we have completed that mission. Our villagers are completely happy. They have everything they need. And I think another quest will probably come up here soon. So we'll just go ahead and speed up and wait to see what happens. And here we go. Okay, so this is cool. So we just had two villagers arrive. So these are newcomers. The only needs that a newcomer has is water and food. The people who are already in our village are called serfs. That's like their status in the village. And now we need to, now the game's gonna make us worry about these other needs that I previously mentioned. Comfort means they need a house and service means that they need a church. That's basically what that means. And those are the things, those are the things that the game's gonna make us do right now. Um, a message from the kingdom. The kingdom recognizes your efforts in establishing your settlement. So they give us, they give us a reward here. Okay. Promote your first newcomers and unlock the warehouse from the labor estate panel. So these are our two new quests. Let me see about this. Okay, so what it's talking about here when it says the labor estate panel, this confused me so, so much when I first played the game and it might confuse you as well. You go to this book section. This book like menu is very important. There's tons of stuff here that you're gonna need to look at eventually. But for now, what it's talking about is the estates, which is this menu right here. And this is what it's talking about when it says the unlock the warehouse from the labor estate panel. We got four of these. This, these are called influence, the circles, and then this is called splendor. Um, and I'll try to explain how these work later on. Basically for now, all we need to do is just click right here. So we've done that, we unlock the warehouse, and that's all that takes. And for this, the Lord Manor, well, okay, so to promote our newcomers, we need to build a Lord Manor. Here's kind of our objectives right here. Build a Lord Manor, assign a Great Hall function to a Lord Manor room, and then at the start of the month, promote a villager to surf. So I'm actually not gonna worry about that just quite yet because I need to make sure that my villagers are happy. And you, we can see that there's some needs that have to be met. So what I'm gonna do I know that I actually need to build a sawmill because we're going to start requiring planks. So I'm actually going to build a sawmill first. And I think I'm going to do that 
right here. This is actually a pretty big building. So you kind of want to be aware of the entry points. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna have it actually over here, kind of close to the lumber camp. Probably kind of right there. I, I, I kind of like that spot. So we'll see how that goes. We'll go ahead and start building that. And we'll go ahead and... We're actually gonna want some builders right now. So the two new villagers that we just got, we're gonna assign those two to be builders. Because um, we're gonna we're gonna need that pretty pretty badly. And I will also start a church. Now you don't have to do this the way that I'm doing it, but this is just how I recommend starting out because there's a lot of things you have to worry about kind of when you're getting to this point. So I'm actually just going to build a church right, kind of right here. I like the idea of having the church kind of right next to the path here. So I'll go ahead and put that down. And the, the church is kind of unique because it has some mandatory parts. You need the core, you need a door, and you need a bell tower. And I really recommend just doing the bare minimum right now because your resources are going to be pretty thin after doing all of this. So there we go. We'll go ahead and start that build. We're actually going to prioritize the sawmill because we're going to need we're going to need planks pretty bad here soon. So. We'll go ahead and start. I'm going to do things slow right now. I also recommend that you... So, okay, so right here. <laughs> this is just what I was going to talk about. It says, housing insufficient. Three villagers lack adequate space for housing. This section will open up at this point. And you can, like, mark housing areas so we're, we're gonna basically when you mark an area with this green circle you're telling the game like I'm okay if the villagers build in this area you don't actually get to pick where the houses go but you get to pick like the area that the houses can be built in so I'm just gonna do. I don't want to. I don't want to build a house right on the path. So I'm gonna try to keep this off the path. House villagers really like their houses to be close to a church. Um, and I'll I'll talk a little more about that in the future, like the desirability. Um, but basically, this is. This is good enough. You just want an area where they can start building houses. And there we go. So you can see that we have all of that area where we're okay with them building houses. So we'll go ahead and let time move. We might notice some houses start to going start to go up here soon. Like right here. They just the villagers just decided, oh, this is where we want. A house to go it's kind of cool because it's um, it's like randomized where their houses are gonna be which is actually pretty cool so I'm actually gonna finish the episode here um, we've been going for about 30 minutes now and I don't want these episodes to be too long um, but if everything goes right or goes like how I'm how I'm planning we will have another episode coming out on uh, tom tomorrow <laughs> if you're watching this on the day it comes out there will be another episode tomorrow so I hope you guys enjoy this series 
and I hope um, that I've made a little bit of sense here. And I really hope you guys enjoy this game. I know I have. I know it's it's a really fun, fun little game. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode.